This video is requested by Julie Crescino and B424R. Hello and welcome back to Quirk Analysis 101, the series where I give you a detailed rundown on the quirks in the world of My Hero Academia. In the last video, I discussed the ability that belongs to our toned, tender-hearted emo boy, Tamaki Amajiki, and his delicious quirk, Manifest. In today's video, we will be discussing the quirk that belongs to Mr. Exit Sign himself, Tenya Ida. And as always, don't forget to Detroit smash that like button and slide into that subscribe button's DMs to hit that notification bell. Now, without further ado, let's sprint past the competition to the slick, speedy, safe slide and glide racing quirk that is, Engine. Engine is a Mewen type quirk which first appeared in chapter six of the My Hero manga and episode four of the anime. This quirk grants its user engine-like protrusions somewhere on their body that can be used to achieve superhuman speed. Due to the nature of this quirk being a mutation, the engine becomes a part of the user's body, and can therefore be started or stopped as easily as moving a limb. Engine also allows its user to cover long distances in a short period of time. This makes it great for missions involving extreme time constraints, missions at distant locations, and missions that require rescue or escape from an immediate threat. Fun little fact, Ida's engines are actually fueled by orange juice. Those of you with a keen eye might have noticed that throughout the series, Ida can often be seen drinking this citrus-based beverage. Aren't you glad you know that now? Oh, come on, that's comedy gold! And now for the quirk's abilities, which are pretty self-explanatory. Zoomy boy go zoom zoom. Okay, seriously, this quirk has some pretty simple close range attacks based around kicks and using speed to confuse opponents. But there are also a few more complex and more powerful special abilities. The first of which we see in the series is called Engine Boost. When activated, it gives the user a temporary speed boost which allows them to push beyond their normal top speed. Engine Boost can be used to give the user an edge in battle when they need it, as it increases the power of their kicks and increases their speed in case they need to escape from some villains. But as good as Engine Boost is, it is actually the most simple of this quirk super moves, as it is actually the earlier version of another move Ida uses called Reciprocal Burst. Reciprocal Burst allows the user to forcibly put their engines into overdrive, which greatly enhances their speed for 10 seconds. The cost of using this ability, however, is that it will temporarily shut down the user's engines for a short period of time due to overheating. Ida first used this move in the Sports Festival Cavalry Battle to allow Shoto Todoroki to steal the million point headband from the protagonist boy Deku. I mean, when you think about it, this is the most anime of all of Ida's special moves. He can drastically increase his power for a short time, but he pays a heavy price. I mean, it's pure anime drama. The next special ability we have to talk about is the super move Recipro Extend. Now normally after Recipro Burst, the user's engines would overheat and stall as I've previously mentioned. However, with the help from some support equipment radiators, which in Ida's case are installed in his hero costume, the user can vent this heat and cool their engines much faster. Once their engines are cooled again, the user can use Recipro Extent to force their engines even further into overdrive, I guess you could call it plus ultra overdrive, giving the user even more explosive power than the initial Recipro Burst. In fact, this ability is so powerful that not even the Great Stain was able to defend against it. Wait a minute, he can use this power to go even further beyond? Is this his most anime super move? We don't have time to debate that now, however, because we have one last super move to discuss, and that is Recipro Turbo. This technique has been passed down the Ida family line for generations. By forcefully ripping out their mufflers, yes, that's right, you heard me, forcefully ripping off a part of their body, the user can grow new and improved mufflers, which allows them to use Recipro for 10 minutes instead of 10 seconds. It also greatly increases the user's maximum speed, which can allow the user to achieve speeds that far surpass even that of Gran Torino's jet. Wait, 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 wait. Ida can rip off a part of his body so he can grow back even more powerful? Dear God! Now this has to be the most anime super move. Damn, never realized Ida was so anime. Let me know in the comments which character super move you think is the most anime. Unfortunately, however, we now need to discuss the weaknesses of the engine quirk. The biggest and most glaring of which is the overheating. When the user pushes the quirk too far, their engines overheat and they're unable to use this quirk at all, which makes them incredibly vulnerable to attacks. This weakness is offset a bit with the help of a support item, but it's 
still a pretty big weakness. Another problem the user of this quirk faces is that although it gives the user increased power and speed, it does not give them increased durability. So say if Ido were to kick someone like Kirishima with all of his power, he would most likely break his own leg and do more damage to himself than his opponent. This lack of super durability is also a risk for high speed running. If you were to say accidentally hit a wall or a hard object, you could seriously injure yourself. This quirk also does not have increased time perception. You see, similar speedsters like the Flash from DC or even O'Clock from My Hero Academia Vigilantes have powers that allow them to perceive their surroundings at high speed. But our Ida does not have this gift. His perception of his surroundings is no different to a normal person in a fast car. This means the faster the user goes, the more difficult it is for them to maneuver and the more likely they are to accidentally collide with an innocent person. So if you see Ida in the area, keep Keep your dog on a leash, or they might go splat. There is also what I like to call the bug on a windshield problem. While traveling at a high speed, the user may be blinded or hurt by small creatures or objects they unknowingly run into. To overcome this weakness, Ida has goggles and a face guard as a part of his hero costume. But again, he doesn't have this at all times, so it still counts as a weakness. But the most serious weakness that threatens to defeat even the most experienced users of this quirk is chafing. Yes, that's right. High speed leg movement may cause the most severe case of wedgie known to man. To counter this problem, however, Ida never wears any underwear. Okay, okay, I may have made that part up but he probably does get really bad wedgies. There is also the problem that this quirk requires orange juice for fuel. So I guess if there is an orange juice shortage caused by villains, Ida would be powerless to stop them. Those evil bastards. And finally, we have the biggest, most dangerous weakness of this ability. And it's the fact you will have literal engines growing out of your body. Now, Ida is lucky his engines are coming out of his legs, but there was nothing stopping them from growing out of somewhere like, I don't know, his ass. Plus, if you clog the mufflers of these engines, this quirk also becomes essentially useless. But despite all of these weaknesses, engine does have some pretty amazing potential. Firstly, as the user's power increases, they may yet again remove their mufflers to grow new, stronger ones, increasing their maximum speed even more, and maybe even giving them an even even more powerful special move. Now I bet that one will truly be the most anime. There is also the possibility of the user incorporating the use of air kicks to shoot air at their opponents, similar to how Deku uses Delaware Smash, Air Force. Currently, Ida deals with distant opponents by running to them, but this distance attack could add an entirely new dimension to his fighting dynamic. And speaking of distance attacks, the user could also kick projectiles at their opponents like a football player. They could even scale the deadliness of this attack by choosing to use softer or harder objects to fire at their opponent. And if the user really wanted to improve their close range abilities, they could potentially use a new super move I like to call Nut Kick. For this move, the user charges up at full blast and focuses all their power in one direct kick directly towards their opponent's nuts. I mean, come on, a super powered kick to the nuts would be devastating. And it would stop most opponents in their tracks. Imagine how quickly the stain fight would have ended if Ida had just super kicked them in the nuts. I mean, hell, he could probably even defeat all for one with this move. Because as Wolverine taught us, you can't grow those back. Unfortunately, however, this super ultimate powerful move would have no effect on 50% of the population. But for that other 50%, you best hope you don't make Ida angry. And finally, the greatest potential the Quirk engine offers is well, flight. If the user had enough power in their engines, they could continuously propel themselves through the air with kicks, similar to what Deku did in his fight against Overhaul. Not only would this grant its user crazy maneuverability and be an insane amount of power, I think the greatest gift this offers is the absolutely terrifying image of Tenya Ida just sprinting directly through the sky like Usain Bolt on steroids, chasing down a villain. My god, it's beautiful, please let it happen. And that's everything you need to know about the Quirk Engine. Overall, this is an incredibly useful quirk for both close range battle and for making long range battles close range ones. It's also very useful for getting to emergency situations quickly and rescuing civilians. Plus, in your everyday life, you would get everywhere really fast and could save a lot of money on travel costs. Although, you will have big protruding engines coming out of your body. 
I mean, it will essentially make you a human car. A car man, if you will. But let me know what you think. Would you like to have the engine quirk? And what quirk would you like me to cover in this series next? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Plus Ultra.